Well, Danny, you've just announced today that uh, Jamie David will be uh, joining the club. Uh, how did this one come about? Um, obviously, just close personal relationship, first and foremost, ex-teammate, uh, good friends. Um, I know what qualities he has, um, and I think he can really add to the group. I think, obviously, it has been ongoing for a while, and, and Dev, rightly so, has probably been hoping to get higher up the pyramid um, and, and try and stay in full-time football. Um, but once I spoke to him and he kind of gave me the green light that if he was going to go part time that we were a, we were an option for him. Uh, we invited him up to train. He trained a couple of times. He's done really well. He's mixed into the group great. And like I said, I know what qualities he's going to bring to the to the group, not just on the pitch, but um, his leadership qualities, his experience, and um, what he can demand from the rest of the group as well. So for me, it's a huge signing for us, and, and it's one that. Without the budget booster, we wouldn't have been able to make. Um, I've, I've spoke about this many times with Walshie and, and yourself, Steve, and we've sort of said that I could have quite easily gone and spent the budget booster money on two or three other players, but I wanted to bring in a player of real high quality, and, and I'm delighted to say that we've been able to do that. And I think, obviously, once we can get Dev up to match fitness, obviously it's going to be a, a little bit of a slower process, making sure that we don't rush him into sort of too many minutes too early and giving him any setbacks. Um, once we get him up to full speed, he's going to be a huge asset for us. As an attacking midfielder, which uh, what role will you uh, uh, put him in at um, once he gets settled in? Yeah, look, he's he's going to bring loads of quality on the ball. Um, he's going to bring quality off the ball with his organisation, his experience. Like I say, um, he'll probably flitter between the two. I think obviously between sort of playing in front of our sitting midfielders and, and creating chances, but also getting on the ball and trying to dictate the play for us as well. Um, I think the, the likes of him, Tinners, Niall Cass, um, Hubbold, Lewis Moores, all, all these players are going to benefit from having more competition in and around them and, and also the, the high standards that all of them lads are going to bring to the club. So for me, it's, it's going to be a huge positive for everyone and we've just got to make sure that when we get him on the pitch, we get him into the good areas, which I know he can hurt teams, and uh, also obviously bring the experience as well. Danny, an excellent piece of business. Well done. Jamie David, welcome to Workington Football Club. You've got a list of uh, clubs on your CV, maybe a dozen or so. Uh, could you tell us your career path and how you finished up at Workington? Um, probably just Danny, really. Um, played with Danny at Carl Earl. He was my roommate for three years. and. Stead really close friends really and, and he asked me if I'd like to come up and, and train and stuff like that and I came up, done a bit of training and and now I'm here. Yeah. Um so Carlisle you've probably played more games for Carlisle than any of your other clubs. Was uh, was that the best period of your career, do you think? Um yeah, probably the most enjoyable really. Um I loved it there. Um still have some amazing friends from there as well and had some unbelievable time. So yeah, that's probably the highlight, really, and, and the place I enjoyed the most, yeah. Uh, you're an attacking midfield player, or so it says on your profile. Um, <laughs> is that still the case? I mean, you're a bit long in the tooth now in, in terms of, what, 300-plus appearances. Uh, what will you bring to, to work into the football club? Um, yeah, well, I played last year when I played for Carlisle. I probably played a little bit of a deeper role, and so I can probably play both, really, but... Attacking's probably where I'm most most comfortable really and I'm looking forward to just getting some minutes on the pitch and hopefully creating and scoring some goals. Now uh, you've you've been to one or two training sessions. Did you know any of the boys uh, prior to coming up to uh, Newton Rig? Um yeah, there's a few here that I've played against in pre season and stuff like that and then there's a couple of ex Carlo lads as well, so I knew a good few of them really, so it was easy to, to fit in. Now you've already scored at Borough Park, I remember you scoring a, a penalty in a pre-season game. Uh, so no pressure on you to score on your debut, but uh, are you looking forward to getting involved? Yeah, I can't wait. It's um, probably been a few weeks now I've been speaking to Danny and sort of just making sure I'm, I'm right really with my body and, and fitness wise and making sure I've ticked all the boxes and with my strength and stuff like that. So I just can't wait to get back to out playing football again. To what? Every footballer wants to do is just play, play football and enjoy it. And oh, I'm looking forward to getting started. Yeah. Jamie, welcome to the club, and we look forward to seeing you in that red shirt. Cheers, mate. Thank you.